you know, the thing with failure is that you never know why you're losing or why this is happening to you until you look back at it. I watch a lot of Jack Ma interviews and, you know, there's a specific clip that I saw that maybe was like in the early 90s where he, he, he for some reason, he liked to videotape everything like from the early meetings that he had. And he was kind of pitching this idea about Alibaba and Taobao to people that were not internet savvy. And you can tell there was a lot of question marks in a lot of the staff's face. But, you know, that man has gone through so much failure that he talks about openly about how he applied to KFC and he got rejected and how he applied to all types of different jobs and he got rejected. And he is one of the most biggest leaders and the forefront of our movement of this generation and i think that you look at that and you look at steve jobs how he got kicked out of his own company can you imagine like how crazy that must have felt and then just to come back and rejoin it years later and create the best gadget of the world the iphone or elon musk you know where he's still operating maybe the company at a loss but he's making you know, moves for mankind with sustainable energy and renewable energy and rockets in the moon. So I think that, you know, my failure is probably not as big as theirs, but I do remember when I first, you know, organized Kanye West in concert in Hong Kong and I really wanted to do it for the society and like, oh, I'm, this is my opportunity to bring music or hip hop to a wider audience and at the end you know the the project lost money and i was like ah oh, like how could this be because i spent so much time and effort into doing this but it just wasn't as ideal on ticket sales as i wanted it to be and you know you could take failure one or two ways you can either just close up and just close up shop or you can continue and use that as momentum for your next project and just like really kind of I mean, I, I don't know why I'm using all these video game references, but, you know, I think that that applies to kids is that, you know, if you play a game, you don't expect to win the first time, right? You have to die like 20 times to actually win. So with that, you know, if you like what you're doing, just keep on doing it. Being able to find your own niche is interesting. And, you know, I remember Steve Jobs said something is that you can never really connect the dots looking forward you can only connect the dots looking backwards. I know a lot of people that overthink before they do something and they're like, oh, what if this happens? And what if this happens? And But what if you don't start? And if you don't start, nothing will happen. So I think that when you're young, you have the quality of, you have the benefit of time. Because even if you make mistakes, you still have time.